This is what I'm calling the single board alpha. Uh, single board as in a single board computer, uh, powered by the ESP32 on a single PCB, and alpha as in alphanumeric, like a keyboard. And uh, no, it's not running DOS, um, but it uh, is a 320 by 172 pixel uh, LCD display and it's got three NeoPixels, a battery charging circuit, and it's also got a push on, hold off uh, power circuit, um, monolithic, so you don't have to do that in software. And then, of course, the battery connector, uh, I square C, um, boot and reset buttons, which you might be able to tell I neglected to route um, at the design time, and then the ESP32. This is designed for the ESP32 S3, and um, this is currently got no um, external RAM on it, but uh, the next, next revision of the board, I've um, left the pins open uh, so that if you're using, if you want to use the PS RAM, uh, you'll be able to do that. And I've just got a 180 milliamp hour battery, and this will actually run doing the LEDs and the display for uh, for several hours. Um, so anyway, so it's got, it's not running DOS, but it is running like a, you know, um, basic keyboard interface uh, styled to look like DOS. So we can like do stuff like change the color. Uh, and then we have clear screen. And then there's a graphics demo. And this is just the based off of the Adafruit library uh, currently. And I'll show you a little bit later what a double buffer uh, example looks like. Uh, the keyboard is made up of 10 pins and it's a total of 40 buttons. Um, everything on the first three uh, rows are a combination of two microcontroller pins. And then everything on the bottom uh, except for the shift button, is actually one button, or one pin. So both of the pads are tied together, which makes programming it a little bit weird, because uh, you can also do LS. Um, because have to have kind of an interesting debounce because you have to check, well, you've pressed one button, but you have to wait a little bit to check if you've also uh, pressed uh, one of the other buttons. It also means you can't have uh, multi-touch because this is zero key or one key rollover. And I guess zero key, I'm not sure how that works. But anyways, uh, so that was like, since it's not buffered, you can see that it's not drawing all that fast and I've got a turtle in here too so you can see what it looks like to draw full so it's, it's a close to being a retina display um, yeah so it works off of battery so you can see the boards all real thin this is the back of the board and on this current revision this will also trigger button presses so you see there's like a bunch of oh, Maybe not that much of one, but you can see if I'm touching it from behind, it's able to trigger. So I put a, a, a ground pour, like a hatch ground pour on the next version. And I've gone to a four layer board that brings all of the high speed traces for the display. And I've also added SD card on the, the next version. So uh, yeah, so I think that's just about it. Oh, forgot, let me... Uh, do the LEDs before I go. And then I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna cut and then show you uh, the other library uh, cut while I upload some other code. And um, so yeah. Okay, so I am back now with a graphics demo. This is just using the T 
TFT uh, underscore ESPI library, which includes a lot of different libraries for a bunch of different displays and controllers. So it's just kind of like magic. And this is one of the built-in examples. I've just modified it slightly. Um, this is a, as I mentioned before, this is a 320 by 172 pixel display, uh, but the controller actually has 240 pixels of, well, it has RAM, but also that's what you're addressing. So it's actually got another bit of pixels down here that are, you know, kind of like being ghost drawn or fake drawn. So I mentioned um, that I'm thinking, well, I'm working on new version. So a new version has an SD card, but I'm already thinking like a second version of this could have the full uh, 320 by 240. A pixel uh, display and one of those reasons is is this will run uh, emulators and this will run doom so even though like this keyboard may not be the best of it just the possibility to extend that kind of a ecosystem is pretty cool so um, maybe a little bit more about the hardware uh, yeah so this is using um, some really tiny monolithic parts here um, I basically chose the smallest parts I could uh, it's got a battery controller, uh, a push button switch controller, and then a 3.3 regulator. And uh, as you can tell by the number of magnet wires that are on there, it did not work. Um, it's also got a red green, like a bi directional LED setup for charging and finish charging. Um, it's kind of nice, but when you uh, don't have a battery installed, um, current can flow from through the, so both of them are on, and I don't want to add more circuits to control that. So uh, I'm going to go back to just, it'll just be with one red LED if it's charging, because uh, then it won't be on when there's no battery in it. But anyways, uh, minor details. Um, yeah, so this is a single board alpha. Uh, you can find out more information about it at singleboard.computer, which is really interesting. It's a new community. Um, designed for anybody, really. Uh, I created the Artiboy, and you have the Artiboy community, but if you create something like this, um, you're welcome to post your own uh, specification and platform and promote it and kind of use it as your own community. And so I'm going to share some more projects like this in the future, and it's going to be a great place, a so little we'll sandbox, if you will, for me to share some of my uh, development boards, and I hope some of you will... Uh, See it an awesome place to do this on the same. So I'll uh, see you out there. Thanks.